In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a simple linear regression line equation and rearrange it to work out x. This is particularly useful if you want to predict the value of y based on a known value of x. As always, if you find this content useful, then please consider supporting the channel by leaving a like on the video. And without further ado, let's get started. For this example, let's say I've performed an experiment where I've created a standard curve where I measured the concentration of a certain protein. Let me graph the standard curve results. On the x-axis, I have the known concentration of my proteins. And on the y-axis, I have the known absorbance values for these samples because each protein sample's absorbance was measured on a plate reader. Now, I have nine standards in my standard curve. The largest standard had a known concentration of 2000 micrograms per milliliter. And when I measured this on the plate reader, it had an absorbance value of 1.95. So this standard will be around here on my graph. I'll now go ahead and plot the rest of my standard samples. And as you can see, the results look very linear. So if I plot a line, I can easily create a simple linear regression equation for this line. I did this in Microsoft Excel. And if you're wondering how to find the equation of your line in Excel, then I suggest you check out this tutorial. Let me explain this equation in a little more detail. What I have for my example is y equals 0.0009x plus 0.0017. The 0.0009 in this instance is the slope coefficient and the plus 0.0017 is the y-intercept. In other words, the point in which the line crosses the y-axis. Taken together, I can use my equation to work out the value of y, which is the absorbance values. But what if you want to use the equation to work out the value of x instead? In my case, the protein concentration. Well, to do this, you need to do some basic math to rearrange the equation, and it's actually really simple. First, take the y-intercept value. So my y-intercept is plus 0 0.0017. And if you want to move this to the other side of the equation, you simply perform the opposite action, which is to subtract 0 0.0017. Doing this on the left side of the equation will mean I now have y subtract 0 0.0017, and on the right side of the equation, the y-intercept will no longer be there, since 0 0.0017 subtract itself is zero. The final thing we need to do is to move the slope value to the other side of the equation. Again, we need to do the opposite action here. And since my slope is to multiply by 0 0.0009, I will divide by this. Doing so on the left side of the equation means I now have y subtract 0 0.0017 divided by 0 0.0009. And then on the right side of the equation, the slope value will no longer be there since 0.0009 divided by itself is simply 1. So this is the equation I can use to work out the value of x, if I have the known value of y. If I continue with my example of measuring protein sample concentrations, let's say I have two protein samples where I want to calculate their concentration. I would measure this the same way I did my samples, by using a plate reader, and then I'll get an absorbance value. I can then work out the unknown concentration by using the reorganized equation. My first sample gave an absorbance reading of 1.4. This means to work out the value of x for this sample, I would do 1.4 subtract 0.0017 and then divide that answer by 0.0009. And doing so will give an answer of 1553.7. And this will be in the same units as my standards, which is micrograms per milliliter. So my first sample had a protein concentration of 1,553.7 micrograms per milliliter. Let me now repeat the process for a second sample. And for this second sample, when I measured this on a plate reader, I got a value of 0.75. Entering this into the rearranged equation eventually gives a value of 831.4 micrograms per milliliter. So that's how you can solve a simple linear regression equation. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, it really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.